Welcome, Virgos. Happy New Year. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, <laughs> Virgos, um, this is the year 2023rd, and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. <clears throat> so, changes is coming up um, between, um, this is the Aquarian season. The Aquarian season begins January um, 20th until February 18th. <clears throat> so Virgos, we see a lot of you Virgo married women, a lot of you Virgo mothers are going to be feeling this season. Um, changes is going to be coming up. Some sort of an invitation is going to be coming out. Um, a lot of you are going to be uh, are worried about your house, your kids and your house. Um, this is coming up. I see this for a lot of you Virgos. Transition and changes is going to be the name of the game for Virgo married women. Okay. So I see <clears throat> a lot of you Virgos and your mothers or your sisters could be having some sort of an issue. Um, I see problems for a cancer person, a scorpion and a cancer person. Um, a lot of you who have sisters or brothers or is married to a cancer or a scorpion person. If it's a cancer person, there is going to be some sort of a heartbreak for this cancer person, whether it's your mother or your wife. Um, this is going to be coming out. Then we see some sort of a deceptiveness and I see a lot of you Virgo women and your sister that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion could be having some sort of an issue surrounding money and problems, okay? Um, then we see a lot of burdensome situation that a lot of you married women or uh, older Virgo women have to deal with. Um, this is coming up. I see a lot of you Virgo women um, could be sick and carrying a lot of burdens, okay? So we see the energy... Um, of uh, um, uh, you women, um, this season is surrounded and is affected by women. And they're going to be recognizing something about a Taurus woman and a whole lot of money, okay? Um, whatever is going on, um, you Virgo women could recognize some sort of a, a miss. Uh, use funds of uh, um, a Taurus woman because they're going to be recognizing that some sort of a project is uh, not for a Taurus woman. They're, going, they're, they're gaining a whole lot of knowledge and it's not recognizing a whole lot of information. Um, a lot of you could regret some sort of a connection. A Scorpion woman is having a huge, um, is having heartbreaks. Whoever the Scorpion person is, uh, this could be a wife, this could be a sister, this could be a family member, um, is having a whole lot of uh, emotional uh, heartbreaks that is affecting a lot of you Virgos. So if you Virgos are in a relationship or your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, this person is now recognizing that they have uh, self-emotionally cheated themselves out. There's a lot of nurturing that is going to be happening in this period. Remember, you Virgos are a frequency on the frequency of 8, 9, and 10. So it's a really higher frequency um, that is going on. Emotions is going to be very high. And a lot of you are going to be thinking back on your marriage relationships or that sort of a situation that has gone bad in the past okay so a lot of you especially married women older women uh women who are independent are going to be uh, you know re rethinking about uh, the past your relationship what uh, was it uh, you know did you make the right decision um was the decision that you made was uh, the right choice. So, you know, a lot of these things are going to be um, basically coming up, but it is about you facing the truth, letting it go, ask for healing and transition um, within this Aquarian season. This Aquarian season is basically um, the timeline because um, Aquarian season has to do with excuses, forgiveness, and uh, um, really um, getting to this, okay? So when we look at the first week, heartbreaks, a lot of you women 
um, especially mother could be having some sort of a heartbreaks emotionally breakdown could be happening uh, with relationships uh, um, that sort of a situation a lot of you mothers could be going through problems um, because your kids are going through issues and it's affecting um, you um, ladies uh, a lot of you married lady or a ladies in long-term relationship could be having some sort of an issue. Some of you might not be well. Some of you had hope for um, some sort of a resolution to a marriage or a relationship situation that is not turning out the way you wanted it. Okay. Then we see um, in the second week, the week of the 4th until the 10th of February, we see... Um, the energy of uh, uh, no, the week of the 28th until the 3rd of February, um, we see dishonesty, dishonesty surrounded money, dishonesty surrounding a Taurus person, dishonesty um, surrounding uh, a situation that has to do with money. And this is going to be coming up. Uh, it doesn't have to come up in uh, um, the week of uh, the 28th until the 3rd. It can come up any time because this is a general reading. And whatever this dishonesty is, they're going to be recognizing that a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman um, had not spoken the truth uh, about a whole lot of money. And there is no success for this person because they're going to be recognizing a very dishonest um, situation surrounding money and what this person has done. Now, um, for each and every person, it's going to be different. So it could be a family member. It could be an associate. It could be a friend. You know? Um, but they're going to be finding out that there was a whole lot of dishonesty and they're not going to be recognizing that a Pisces cancer or scorpion person did not speak the truth and took a whole lot of money and there is no success in the situation because they're now gaining a lot of knowledge of who this person is and what is transpiring. Then when we look at the third week, the week of uh, the fourth until um, the tenth, burdensome situation surrounding kids. A lot of you have to pay a lot of attention if you have kids or if you're working with young kids or whatever is going on. There is a lot of burdens that a lot of you married women or mothers are going to be have to be dealing with. And, you know, I see the kids are like kind of offering you love. And uh, um, I see there is so much things, so much burdens that a lot of you have to carry, especially when you get uh, um, in this timeline, especially mothers and, you know, married women and women who have double jobs, that sort of a situation. And, you know, the kids are just pouring their heart out and opening up. And it's as if there is just too much and not enough time to spend with the kids. So um, that is definitely going to be coming up and it's going to be affecting a lot of mothers, a lot of mothers with young kids, that sort of a thing. Love is going to be offered to a lot of you older women because a lot of people or your kids are going to be recognizing that you were treated unfairly. Now, there is going to be birth in some situation because a lot of you are going to be going back to work and the kids and find a place and find the right situation for your kids. That sort of a situation is going to be coming up. So in this season of the Aquarian season, um, it is a season where communication and, you know, going in your thoughts, trying to resolve a lot of problematic situation is going to be coming up. OK, when we look at the fourth week, the fourth week is the week of the 11th until the 18th. There's a lot of worries concerning your kids, concerning a relationship um, that you are in. And uh, it is. It is a very confusing situation for a lot of you married women um, or women who are in long term relationships. But um, and a lot of you Virgos who are in a relationship or married to a Taurus, you're going to be finding out that your wife has been either holding out on you because you're going to be finding out a whole lot of stuff concerning your wife, your kids, money. Um, that was allocated for um, things to do and your wife had never done it. So they're now recognizing that a Taurus woman, um, which is coming up as a mother or a wife, um, for some of you, they're going to be recognizing that this person 
could have took or allocated money um, that was not uh, um, uh, theirs, okay? It's as if this person was profiting. And this, this situation, um, a lot of you are going to be gaining, and this, this is coming up as a mother or a, a wife, okay? And there's changes. There's definitely changes that is going to be coming up because um, whoever this um, person is and whatever that was going on, um, they're going to be gaining some sort of understanding and uh, um, and, and, and recognizing how um, disillusioned a situation is. Because if you notice, it's heartbreaks. Okay, there is there is going to be a lot of heartbreaks that is going to be coming up, and um, it's 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 it is emotionally, it's from a nurturing point where um, you Tauruses, um, especially Tauruses who have kids or mothers or who are very nurtured, because I see a lot of worries concerning the home front for a lot of you Tauruses with kids and that sort of a thing. There's a lot of burdens that you're going to be dealing with and you have to carry this burden. So there are definitely going to be just so, uh, um, uh, a, a, a state of mind where um, you're going to be recognizing that uh, um, you yourself have to make some sort of a changes, okay? And whatever the changes is that you're going to be making is going to be have a, a huge effect on moving forward this year in a better direction for yourself, okay? So, you know, there are opportunities and there's a lot of opportunities that is going to be coming in your way and a lot of you um, are going to be um, offered love. Um, and, and however this love is coming in, it's like universe could be like just put in people, situations. Um, and by you connecting with these people and situations, you know, the love that is going to be coming to you is going to be um, overflowing. And it is, it's going to be making you feel as if, oh my God, you know, I'm needed. I, people really needs me. You know, it, it can be things like, hey, I haven't saw you. I, you know, I've been um, watching you or I've been, you know, you have been such an inspiration to me. Um, so Taurus is that sort of a situation is going to be coming up. And I see a lot of you are going to be heartbroken concerning um, a Pisces sketch or a Scorpion person. You're going to be so heartbroken um, whoever this person is and however they connect with you, this person or you are going to be heartbroken to find out what this person have done, okay? And I see a lot of you are going to be turning your back on this person. So let's say this person is a sister or a sister-in-law or a friend. You're going to be turning your backs on this person because a lot of people are are going to be recognizing that this person has done you great injustice. So I see a lot of love is coming in. I see a lot of worries concerning a home. I see a lot of you are was waiting on some sort of a news concerning a home. That sort of a situation is coming up. I see emotion transition is going to be transpiring. Okay. Um, a lot of you need to stop thinking about the past and think about the future, okay? Because a lot of you and as I look in the diamond shape of uh, this uh, reading, um, um, the diamond shape of this reading is uh, um, this honesty that someone else brought in your world. And this had created so much burdens um, for a lot of you. And, you know, you Virgos that is dealing with a Taurus, there is no success with this Taurus because they're now going to be recognizing and gaining a whole lot of knowledge over this Taurus and what this Taurus have done. So you see, it is a powerful timeline um, um, that is going to be transpiring um, for you guys. It is a seriously powerful timeline. But the thing about it is that you can use this timeline to resolve whatever the issue is that is coming up. I do love you, Virgos. I gotta go. Please remember to like and share and check out the extended. Namaste.